Do you want to know free science-based methods to improve your in-game performance? Yeah? Okay, let's start with a fancy one. It's called Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation, also known as TDCS. And it basically looks like this. The brain communicates using electrical signals for neurons that produce action potentials. And TDCS involves passing a tiny electrical current of a part of the brain to make the neurons more active and increase your learning rate. A study investigating Counter-Strike players revealed that TDCS showed a significant increase in aiming skill acquisition, but only for the beginner players. But hold on, I know, you're way beyond being a noob. And that's why the other two methods are not just for noobs, but rather for every player. The six minutes of heaven, or rather, the six minutes of walking. An intervention study compared two scenarios. Both groups played for two hours with a six minute break in between. The difference was that during the break, the first group simply laid on their backs, whereas the other group walked for six minutes straight. So basically, a queue time. The result was that the walking group showed improved cognitive functions, meaning that the brain was able to process things faster. You don't need to walk 500 miles to benefit from it, you just need to walk for six minutes. And the last tip is especially for shooter players. A quote from Training Science states, never repeat an exercise twice. This doesn't just apply to exploring new strategies, but also to aim training. Sometimes we try to repeat the exact same motion. And even though it feels the same, the results are not. And doing it several times in a row doesn't change this either. However, if we encourage ourselves to intentionally change every repetition slightly, we recognize the difference and we are able to learn faster, according to this theory. And this theory was investigated in a study addressing the skill acquisition of two groups. One group trained only tracking, while the other group trained the same tracking but with additional variations. These variations consisted of movement specifications and sensitivity changes every 10 seconds. And the findings reveal that the variation more than doubled the skill acquisition in the same time period. And this is really mind blowing because they did same same but different. If you want to try this alternative method you can click on the link down below and try Academy right now. Thanks for watching and please let me know if the audio did improve this time. Bye.